Tim Horton's Snowball Surprise Donut. Until next year, good buddy. Yes guys, in the words of Nutty Holder, it's Christmas. So we're gonna do a Christmas vlog, something that every YouTuber seems to kind of do. And obviously, me being a YouTuber, I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon. Now to keep us fitness related guys, what we are gonna do is we're also gonna intersperse the Christmas vlog with five pointless exercises that you might be wasting your time with. Now, obviously, pointless is subjective, you know, you might be training for different reasons, so different exercises might be good for different things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain why certain exercises are pointless and most importantly, what you can be doing instead. So guys, since it's Christmas, we've got a lot of celebrating to be doing. We're going to go straight in with the lunge combination. Now, obviously a lunge, one of the most probably effective leg exercises and compound lifts going. Obviously, it's just going down on one leg, pretty much getting the quads, hamstrings, glutes, all of the main ones. But what I see a lot of is people doing the lunge combination. So instead of just doing the lunge, you would do maybe a lunge with a bicep curl or a lunge with maybe a lateral raise. And I totally get it, you know? Exercises are a crazy thing in that you can obviously combine like Lego bricks to make one bigger one. And I get it, you're a busy person. You wanna sort of combine two birds with one stone to get the workout done quicker. Because let's be honest, we're not all psychopaths like me who enjoy training. So I get it. But the thing is guys, with the lunge and the leg exercises in general, is that legs are one of the most strong muscles in the body. So basically you can lift a lot of weight with your legs, but your arms not so much. So obviously with this 1.25, it makes sense to do a bicep curl with a nice easy waist. But because I am lifting such a light weight with my legs, I am greatly diluting the effect of the lunge. So it might be better to just do the lunge by itself with a heavier weight and make those leg gains that we're all after. <laughs> the last melon, you know it's Christmas. Gym manager Pam, show us the new tree. Oh, we have a dancing version. Ooh. Check this out. Merry Christmas. <laughs> If I can be completely candid with you guys, I've actually sort of been dreading this Christmas. Um, in the last few months, I've lost two fairly major players in the Taylor family. And obviously with the virus kind of running rampant again, it's a little bit depressing this year, can I say? Now obviously I'm still going to spend the day with my mom and my stepdad, so it's still going to be a nice day. And it's going to be nice to take some time off work and clients and just chilling and just enjoying some crap food and some alcohol. But yeah, this year is going to be a little bit meh, but you know, I'm still determined to have a good time. And obviously Christmas is still going to be awesome. But you know, it's going to be nice to reflect on this year because I don't know about you guys, but I think 2021 has actually been a little bit harder than 2020. I think trying to pick up where we left off before the pandemic, it's been a little bit chaotic. So like I say, even though I'm not going to see as much family as I normally would, I'm definitely looking forward to just having some crap food, spending some time with the family that I can't see and just chilling out. And I really hope you guys have the same. Obviously this year I did start the YouTube channel and I want to just say really quick now that I really do appreciate anyone that has checked out my videos so far. Hopefully the new year means more of them. But until then, here's more pointless exercises. Here's one for the guys, the arm exercises. Number one is the plate curl. Now, I feel like this one is probably the most bro exercise out there just because I think it A, one of those ones that looks cool. And it also just shows blatant disregard for gym equipment. Like there's something inherently bro about, oh, I'm using this heavy thing that shouldn't really be used for this. It's kind of like rebellious and I think that's why it does have that sort of bad boy image. But not only that, it's actually just not the best in terms of activating the biceps. Now you see, to do this one, you've got a semi-pronated grip, so it's not quite all the way into a bowl shape and it's not all the way down either. So it's not the best for activating the bicep. 
Also, the thing is the progression with this one is the fact that most gyms only have fives, tens, twenties, and that's pretty much it. Now, some gyms will have 15s and 25s, but they might not necessarily have the handles to do this. So it's just, it's not a very good one for progression. Now, instead, I would highly recommend just doing some kind of easy bar curl, A, because the grip on the bar is much more suited for wrist positioning, whereas it's also got the supinated grip as well, which basically means the knuckles are facing down. And that is the best grip for this kind of bicep activation. And of course, with the fact is you can also add small little tiny plates, which means slow, gradual progression over time, which will give the best result for bicep growth. Now, on the topic of curls, I also think Zotamin curls are overrated as well. Now, I think it was Hugh Jackman that's popularized these because of his Wolverine workout. Normally, if a superhero workout is online and it's full of gimmicky stuff like these, it's probably best to avoid it. Now, instead of the overly confusing and overly fatiguing Zotamin curls, you're best off doing just a regular hammer curl instead. The kind of like gimmicky rotation of the wrist at the top, yes, it will work the brachioradialis or the forearm muscle, but again, so will deadlifts and other compound lifts as well as some forearm isolation stuff at the end of your workout, which will be much less fatiguing. So it's best off avoiding any sort of overly complicated, flashy, shiny object exercises like Zotamin curls and again just focus with some standard hammer curls instead all right guys we are my long day today so i'm going to quickly run you through my lunch for the day the aldi birthday cake protein bar it's actually really good uh two satsumas spaghetti noodles and tuna flakes i have those two together it's a nice little combo these crackers only like 18 calories each from b m so i'll probably buy some chicken on my lunch break have that on top of those three jellies 10 calories. They actually do themselves dirty. These are seven calories apart. So that's 21 calories right there. I'll get with some coffee flavor drops, some fluids, I've got a cherry Coke and a Eno drink. We got some French toast, which I prepped this morning. Uh, I've never actually had that cold, so it could be a little bit nasty, but we do have a microwave. Uh, we have the skinny choco malts, basically just schneidy Maltesers. And to finish off, we've got a big ass thing of melon and jelly. So that's gonna be me. Very, very full today. But again, we've got one more week until Santa comes. So I'm trying to go for the high volume, low calorie stuff, get as shredded as possible, and then ruin it on Christmas day. Now the next exercise isn't pointless as such, but I see a lot of common mistakes on this one. This is the oblique dip. Now you'll notice I have two plates. Now, if you think of a scale, obviously one side is going to counterbalance the other, which means that in the terms of this exercise, you might as well have nothing at all. One's going to counterbalance the other. So if you are going to do the oblique dip, make sure you just have one plate because then the left weight is going to make the right oblique flex and vice versa. But to be honest, you're much better off doing a cable rotation anyway, because if you look at the setup of the oblique muscle, it responds much better to lateral bends and side turns rather than oblique dips. Happy Christmas Eve, everybody. I received this from a client the other day. It's got pretty good macros, but even then, 114 calories. I don't really drink my calories still. So this is an iced latte flavored protein coffee. So I thought since I'm on the early shift at the gym anyway, and I'm looking for a bit of a new breakfast, I thought why not turn this into one of the anabolic ice creams. So I'm probably the only guy that's ever made an ice cream at 4.45. And I'm sure the neighbors are gonna absolutely hate me, but it's Christmas Eve and anything goes now. Okay, so I can't lie, I feel like I've hit some kind of rock bottom having protein ice cream at 4.45 in the morning, but it's Christmas and let's be honest, whatever happens, happens. So uh, I start the gym shift at six today. So this is quite an actually, it's quite a quick breakfast to be honest. And later on, the lifeguards and I are getting a Tim Hortons breakfast, which will be my first because I keep getting distracted by the donuts. So I'm gonna smash this, have a quick shower, go to the gym, Hopefully squeeze in one last cheeky arm workout uh, before the fat man comes down the chimney and I will catch up with you guys later. Oh baby. First of the year. Mm. Right.
right, so that is the shift done. Last one for four days. So we're just gonna chill, we're gonna train hard, we're gonna eat hard, we're gonna relax, and just do a whole bunch of nothing. Now, I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to experiment with a little bit of reverse dieting. Now, recently I've noticed that I've kind of been a little bit too food focused and a little bit too excessively leaning into the fat burn sort of stuff, like I said in my last video. So, like I said, timed it perfectly well for Christmas. So we're just gonna take the foot off the gas. Now, I'm not gonna go full on dirty dreamer bulk mode, but I am gonna exercise the balance of the finer things in life. So let's say we're gonna go for a bit of an arm workout today, gonna to go for a big juicy arm pump. I'm gonna smash out this hash brown, some melon for the carbs, and I will see you guys later on today. Then what better time to record the last pointless exercise than on a nice quiet Christmas Eve session? This is the single arm chest press where you lean in and target the inner part of your chest. Now, I get it, but the problem is you can't target the inner part of your chest. Your pec is just one muscle, the pectoralis major. And if you want that nice striation in between the pecs to give the illusion of a bigger overall chest, you're best off just going for the standard double arm chest press. Just again, it's another shiny object one. So again, just sit back normally, use both arms, press, really trying to get the muscle-mind connection. And as you lose body fat and build muscle, the inner chest will grow, but you can't target the inner chest specifically. So that's it for another year. For what I thought was going to be such a bittersweet one, this Christmas actually turned out pretty damn amazing. After being go 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 most of December, lounging on the couch watching movies and stuffing my face with an epic feast was exactly what I need. Not counting calories, not rushing about, just being present in the moment and having a good laugh. So after a nice lie in and diving nose first into my presence, we got some steps in down by the beach and then came back home for the big dish we've all been waiting for. With the virus going so crazy again, it's been a very intimate one, as I'd normally do the rounds and visit my second cousin half removed from the left-hand side's house. But it was surprisingly refreshing just seeing the nearest and dearest and being back home on the couch by six. So I really hope you guys have had a fantastic Christmas and spent time with the loved ones that you missed spending time with last year. He is hoping 2022 will finally sprinkle some normality back onto our lives. And again guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel and watching my videos. Seeing comments from the Philippines and Germany has been the best Christmas gift of all. So just know, if you're watching this, I'm so, so grateful for you. Merry Christmas everybody.